What is going on lads and welcome to the unofficial legends of FIFA 14. This time we are doing the absolute legend that is Miroslav Klose. If you guys don't know what this series is, basically we take players that are already in the game and deserve legend cards. And this guy has got that blue card but it's going to cost you about 6 or 7, maybe even 8 million which is absolutely stupid. So if you guys want to go and buy that card... I'm saying it's stupid, but it is like one of the best cards to have. It's like that 99 Messi. There is a link down in the description to UT Coins for you. You can use the code AJ3, get yourself 5% off. And coins are pretty cheap. It's only about £3 per 100k when you do use my discount codes. Whether you want to go and open packs to try and get them or even go absolutely mental and buy them, there is a link down there. And I'm sure he is an absolutely epic player because he has got basically the same stats as my unofficial one that I have made here. So we have got Miroslav closer. I have bought the normal version and I have slapped a plus 10 attribute card on him. But... With having all of the coaches, a plus 10 becomes a plus 15. And this guy, of course, got plus 16 in every stat for scoring 16 goals at the World Cup. So he was basically absolutely identical. You can see there, most of the stats are the same. Unfortunately, EA, well, not unfortunately, it's even better for the normal cards, but it's slightly worse for me. EA did his plus 16 from the World Cup card, and I think he was an 84 originally in Foot World Cup. So he is slightly better than this one, but only marginally. Like, there's only a few stats that are a little bit different, and this one is absolutely epic. You can see it's got 90 pace, 90 shooting, 90 dribbling, and 99 heading. It is absolutely crazy. He scored four goals. He's played four games, sorry for me, and scored seven goals. And one of them games actually forgot to put the attribute cards on him as well. And it was still fucking awesome. So this guy is a brilliant player in FIFA and I would highly recommend using him. If you can have a look at his in-game stats there, you can go on footheads and compare him to the new... Inter is it an international man of the match? I don't even know what to call what the card is, but it's absolutely ridiculous. It's blue and red. You can see all its in-game stats there, and you can see the in-game stats of this one with the attribute card. And they are very, very similar, and it basically allows you to go and have this guy for the price of an attribute card per game, which is absolutely nominal. I'm not even sure how much they cost because I've got quite a few of them in my club anyway, just from opening packs. But I can't imagine they cost more than 500 to 1,000 coins. So that's like you could get 1,000 games for a million coins out of this one rather than paying 6 million for... The other cards, that's up to you guys which one you want to go and do. But either way, I would highly recommend getting yourself as closer and using them. He's an absolutely awesome player on FIFA. The only thing wrong with him is that he's got two-star skills. But apart from that, with this, he is absolutely rapid. He's really tall and his heading is absolutely sick. I went and built a Germany team around him just because nostalgia or whatever you want to call it last night with them going absolutely mental on Brazil. The prices did rocket and I probably overpaid for them, but it was really fun to go and use them last night when the hype was all around. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to wave my magic wand and we're going to come back and see the team that I used this guy in. So there we have it, lads. That is the squad. Manuel Neuer, the most ridiculous goalkeeper in the world. Boateng, international man of the match, Hummels and Lam. Unfortunately, Herbedes or Howedes or whatever his name is, is actually a centre-back on FIFA and he played left-back last night. So I had to pick up Schmelzer instead. We've got Kadira, Schweinsteiger and then Drexler came on as a substitute, I think, and I put him in there because he's just so OP on FIFA. And then we've got Muller and Schürrle, left-wing and right-wing or left-forward and right-forward. And of course, the big man Muller up front, um, closer up front with his 16 World Cup goals. He scored 5 in 2002, 5 in 2006, 4 in 2010, and now he has scored 2 in this one. Four World Cups this guy has played in. He's had 136 caps for Germany, and he scored 71 goals. If he doesn't define living legend, I do not know who does, because this guy is absolutely fucking awesome, and I'm just so glad that he scored. It was a pretty shit goal with the rebounds, but it doesn't matter. He has took that, legend, that record, and what an absolute legend he is. If you guys do want to go and build this team, I would highly recommend it. It's a quality team to use on FIFA. Schweinsteiger and even Kadir is an absolute god. And he has now got an international man of the match as well if you want to go and buy him. And you could pick up international man of the match. Cruz, I think it is, to pop there instead of Draxler. There's a lot of them and they are absolutely awesome. And these guys are probably going to go on and win the World Cup. But... That is where I'm going to leave you, lads. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more unofficial legends, I did do quite a few of them, so there's some of them on my channel if you want to go and check them out. But maybe suggest me some new ones down in the comment section. And if you guys like this and smash the likes, we will have some more of them videos. But apart from that, lads, I hope you have enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. I'll leave you with some nice Darude Sandstorm and some goals. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.